Um, one of the most common ones that I ran into when I started to look into blood banking and transfusion medicine um, was uh, the first transfusion is free. And I didn't even know what that meant. That uh, It means that uh, people think the first transfusion, in dogs at least, can be performed without doing any blood typing or cross-matching compatibility testing because it doesn't cause a reaction, which is partially true, but it always leads to sensitization and always leads to delayed hemolysis if you have a mismatched uh, blood transfusion. And so uh, it's definitely not true. Um, and so we definitely want to uh, at least blood type match the transfusions for dogs uh, and cross-match as if possible. And um, for cats, it's definitely not free either. So there's all, uh, with cats, even the first mismatch transfusion can cause a fatal reaction. Um, another myth in transfusion medicine would be that uh, DEA1 negative blood for dogs is the universal blood type, meaning that if you have DEA1 negative blood, you can give it to any dog and it'll be okay. Uh, there's so many other blood types that uh, is in addition to DEA1 that we can't really test for in practice, and so we can't really consider any type of blood to be universal. So that's a uh, misconception out there. Um, the last one that I'll throw in is that um, people feel like uh, pre-medicating our patients before transfusions will prevent transfusion reactions from occurring. And uh, there's uh, a lot of evidence both on the human medicine side and the veterinary medicine side that says that pre-medication doesn't really make a difference. And so it really puts an emphasis on how important compatibility testing is and good monitoring is for us to, to conduct in order to make sure that transfusion is as safe as possible.